topic for to interest to me for biliary atresia presented by Hiroki Nakamura from Juntendo University School of Medicine, Japan. Thank you, Chairperson, members, guests. Prognosis in post-operative biliary atresia cases is conventionally dictated by the presence of jaundice, and clinical assessment focuses on monitoring serum BLB. LT, LT, and platelet count also reflect clinical status, but are not used routinely for this purpose. We are the first to use a combination of three biochemical markers, bilirubin, acid, LT, and platelet count to evaluate prognosis in post-operative biliary atresia patient. We collected data for three biochemical markers from our BA patients treated by port enterostomy. We compared open PE and laparoscopic PE using 3BM as more comprehensive indicators of post-operative clinical status. Subjects for this study were 17 BA patients who had laparoscopic PE and 14 BA patients who had open PE during the same period. 31 cases were classified into six groups according to possible three B BM data. Group one, total view being LT, plated count, all normal. Group two, only PC abnormal. Group three, only SLT abnormal. Group four, SLT and platelet count abnormal. Group five, only bilirubin borderline. Liver enzyme and PC didn't matter. Group six, only bilirubin abnormal. Again, liver enzyme and Spread counts did, didn't matter. Data for age of and body weight at the PE, follow up length, joint clearance ratio, and uh, liver transplant ratio, and total steroid dosage were obtained from out outpatient clinical records and corrected prospectively. Result, in laparoscopic BA classification was 16 type 3 and 1 type 2. In open PE, BA classification was 12 type 3 and 1 each of type 1 and type 2. Age and weight at port antistomy, follow-up length, cell dosage, were not stat statistically different. Laparoscopic PE is associated with higher jaundice clearance than open PE, but not statistically different. Liver transplantation ratio was similar between both groups. This slide shows case distri distribution for 3BM group according to type of PE. Blue shows laparoscopic PE, red shows open PE. Laparoscopic PE was higher incidence of group three cases. Overall outcome of laparoscopy PE may be worse than open PE because of lower incidence of group one and two. In conclusion, laparoscopy PE is associated with higher joint clearance than open PE. 
However, there are less laparoscopic PE cases in the VM groups with normal bilirubin and normal STLT. Outcome of laparoscopic PE may be worse than open PE according to our more comprehensive protocol for assessing critical clinical status in post-operative VF cases using three biochemical markers. Further follow-up will confirm the value of our protocol. Thank you. <laughs>